Well, today FEMA agents are on the ground in Nicholas County checking out the damage from last week's deadly flash flooding. Several agencies and emergency services were severely impacted by the flood and the only grocery store in Carlisle has been shut down. But officials tell our Sophia Millar they have a plan in place to make sure the county has the essential services it needs. That's the focus of tonight's LAX 18 Big Story at 530. I want you to take a look here. This is where the water reached on one of the Nicholas County fire trucks. Officials tell me that they've already drained about two and a half gallons of water out of the motor, but they still can't get the truck to start. The Nicholas County Fire Department is trying to salvage what they can. It's not great, but we'll make it through it. Fire Chief Doug French says the flash flood left them in rough shape. All seven of their fire trucks were filled with water at one point. To have major damage. He says one will likely be totaled. We are a small community. We are a small county. We don't have the tax base to just go out and buy the trucks that are damaged. The one truck is a $700,000 truck. Down the road at emergency medical services. We're still assessing the damage, but we've lost two of our four ambulances. A third ambulance is at the mechanic. EMS Director Tim Smith says he believes they'll be able to get it back up and running again. I, I hope that, uh, you know, with the insurance, we will be able to to replace most everything that we lost. In the meantime, surrounding communities are lending Nicholas County fire trucks and ambulances to make sure emergency services don't fall short. We're not going to miss a beat. We're, we're fine. Our crews are doing well. Morale is, is good and everybody has stepped up. The people in the community should feel fine. They're not going to get you know shorted on any services. Everything's going to get taken care of. If we have a run right now, We've got a plan and it's going to work. So unfortunately, the same can't be said for the grocery store. We're sitting here today without a grocery store. This save a lot is the only grocery store in a 15 mile radius. Carlisle Mayor Ronnie Clark says the flood destroyed the save a lot from the inside. It will have to be rebuilt, which could take several months. If you wanted uh, to buy a five pound of hamburger, it's not here. If a loaf of bread, Yes, but again, you're down to $2 stores and a couple service stations. In the aftermath of the flood, several organizations stepped up to offer free food to flood victims. But just like the borrowed fire trucks and ambulances, it's a temporary solution to a bigger problem. In Nicholas County, Sophia Millar, LEX 18 News.